Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box? What I have here before me is a board game from Bicycle. Yes, the card game company. Bicycle, the playing card company, the people most known for making standard decks of playing cards, has decided to enter into the board game market, putting out a series of light strategy games. There are two of them out so far. Uh, there is Exchange and Alpha. You can also check out my Alpha video here on YouTube, uh, which I unboxed as a separate video. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a look at Exchange, the second game in the Bicycle series. But before I do that, I just want to point out, uh, I am O2 some of the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. At social media, YouTube, Twitch, everywhere, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can also head over to TabletopBellhop.com. That's our webpage where we've got all kinds of gaming content, including uh, news, reviews, um, unboxing videos, actual plays, all kinds of interesting stuff, lists of podcasts to listen to, lists of other streamers to check out, things like that. So that's at tabletopbellhop.com. All right, enough about that. We are going to take a look at Exchange. So again, this is from Bicycle, the playing card company. You can see their logo up there in the corner. The light strategy game. This is obviously a stock exchange game. We're going to go through the back just really quickly. It says, Exchange, don't let the market play you. In 1792, 24 New York stockbrokers gathered outside 68 Wall Street to sign the Buttonwood Agreement. Later, this group of brokers would become known as the New York Stock Exchange, one of the greatest and most influential pillars in the global economy. The founders paved the way for securities trading. Now it's your turn to get rich and play the market. Phase 1, select a security. Phase 2, buy or sell. Phase 3, influence the market. Cash in big or go for broke as you outwit your opponents and corner the market to become the best trader on the exchange. So it's worth noting before I continue that this game does not come shrink wrap, but there were, I cut them already, two pieces of tape here and here. You can kind of see it glaring in the video there. That's how they're selling these. So if you see a copy in the store, it looks like, oh, it's, it doesn't have the shrink wrap on it. That's normal. That's how it's supposed to be. So here we go. This is what you get in the exchange. So we start off, we've got a rule book, lots of uh, nice font here, sorry, nice large font. We got some examples, bright colors, that's for sure, lots of bright colors, all about the market clothes, we're already halfway through. The fine print, tips and tricks, so the actual rules to the game appear to only be seven pages. And then we've got some tips and tricks and some other information, frequently asked questions. So I gotta say, it doesn't look that light. For saying light game and bicycle, I, I was a little worried it'd be a little too light. We got a really nice looking box insert here. Is this a board? Okay. Ooh. Oh okay, yeah, that's shiny. That is really shiny. Okay, look at this. Those are slideable scales. Wow. That is a double layered board with plastic pieces in them that you can slide showing various banks bonds and insurance values that is an impressive board game piece right there that alone i am impressed underneath that oh it looks like we're gonna have one of these for each player so there's actually a divider piece to protect them that's a nice touch yep look at them all Holy cow. Okay, so a whole bunch of those. Really nice. Very impressive. That is a really impressive board game piece. Okay, so we have broker cards. You know, I'm going to get to the cards in a minute. I want to see what this is. Is this anything? Is this just taking up space? No, nope, this is the board. Okay. So we have a board. It's a mounted board, which is a nice bonus. That's a nice touch. This could have been thin. Bright colors, that's for sure. Oh, looks simple enough. Uh, right now, it doesn't. It's not sitting very flat, but this should just be a little bending. Being a, being a mounted board, yeah. There, I was I was almost able to get it flat there. I'll try harder when I actually put this out on the table. So we have the board. Under the board, we've got spots to hold something. I have no idea what. If anything goes in there, or if that's just for looks, that might just be for looks. So I don't see anything to go in there. We're gonna throw those back. We're going to grab this broker deck and flip through this. i got to admit, like, stock exchange sounds like a, a bland 
topic, and it definitely is, but I am a big fan of economic board games in general. Acquire being one of the earliest ones I played that I really enjoyed. Um, there are lots of good market games. We were just talking about Clans of Caledonia on our podcast last night, and that's a game where you play in 19th century Scotland, where a big aspect of it. So, phase two, okay, then phase one. All right, so let's try to make some piles here. We're going to put this off to the side, see what we got. So, phase two, a deck, a phase one deck, and then market forces, and then founder cards. Okay. So that's out of that stack. There's more cards in here. So these show buy, sell with numbers on them. Simple enough. Card quality, I am surprised. Like, this is bicycle. I expect it a little better. They do have a linen finish on them, which is nice, but they're not very thin. They don't have that plastic coating. I would definitely wouldn't want to get the, these to get wet. Uh, very basic artwork here. Like, this is not a pretty game, but it looks very functional. We have a bunch of numbers. Buy, sell. I have no clue. I have not played the game. So that was phase two. I have a feeling phase one. No, nope, phase one looks completely different. So we have bonds, banks, insurance. No clue. So you use these in phase one, obviously. Oh, you know what? I think I get it. I have a feeling you're going to put these face down. Because if you look, it says select security. And yes, there's enough of these for each player and each type. So you're going to select a security. And then you're probably going to put these face down and say, I want to buy two of it. Or sell. It's upside down. Be sell. So I want to buy or sell. That's a guess. I have not read the rules for this game. Founder cards. So we have Samuel Beebe. Leonard Bellecker. So it looks like this may set an asymmetric setup. Would be my guess that you play different characters. Warden of the Port. Starting with different amounts of stocks. That actually looks kind of cool. So there's a bunch of these. A whole bunch of different names. Then market forces look like a type of events. So this one says stable market. You have trade deal. All securities plus one. You've got high demand. So you got a deck of events here. Looks interesting. Looks... We're going to toss these back in here. Now what we got? Phase three. So these do have the, the cigarette package style opening on them but i'm having a hard time finding the, the proper notch so i've just been using a utility knife to cut these open just to save time normally i would take the time to try to find the proper spot phase three influence cards then phase two buy or sell Okay, so two different sets of cards here. So influence just shows bonds plus one, banks plus one, or insurance plus one. That's that deck. I'll put that face up. And then buy or sell phase two is going to look the same as what we saw earlier for phase one. So it's just a whole bunch of number cards from one to eight. With buy on one side and sell on the other side. Simple enough. Okay, what are these? These are unique. There are sleeves. Literal sleeves. So, I don't know. I, I have not read the rules. My guess is going to be you're going to do something like this. You are going to go buy, sell, like that. And then when you play, you're going to look and it says sell, seven. And you're probably going to put what commodity. That's, again, really rough guess. And there are a ton of these. That say phase one and phase two, phase three. Probably enough for each phase for each player. So there's a little thing to tuck your cards in. So a little card tucking thing. Cool. I'm going to throw these back in the box. And move on to the next deck of cards. So this is what I expect from Bicycle. A whole bunch of cards. This looks like your equivalent of paper money to me. That's going to be my assumption of what this is. Hundred bucks, fifty bucks, fifty bucks, ten bucks. Looks like everything's in ten dollar denominations, two sided. 
I am not going to bother spreading all this out. These are nice thickness. Like, it's, it's not paper. It is card. Again, it's bicycle, right? These are playing card consistency. hobbit size cards, as I like to say. Half cards. Uh, not quite half cards. So, yeah, 10s, 20s, 100s. These may be worth stealing for other board games, as long as it's a game where you don't need any ones. Not that I'm saying you take this game apart. Then we have, I, I would say they're D4s, but they don't have numbers on them. They're Caltrops. Again, I have not read the rules for this game, but I've played enough different economic games over the years. I can probably guess what this is, and that's going to be that we're going to take this board out. And these are going to show the values of the three different things. And they're going to move up and down on that track. It's a nice component, actually. What's nice is it's not it's not going to fall over or roll away. So that's it. That's what you get with exchange. Game comes with a nice box insert. Everything's nice and sorted here. Nothing's going to fall out. We're going to throw this board back in here. Then these with their... I don't know if I'm going to keep the paper to try to protect these so they don't get damaged. I understand why, because you wouldn't want this plastic piece to scratch the board underneath it. So I just can't see if I bring this out to a public play event that the people I'm with are necessarily taking the time to put the paper sheet in between, right? All right, that repacked very nicely. Rule book. So there you have Exchange from Bicycle, the playing card company. Uh, one of two of their new light strategy games. They're trying to dive into the board game board game market, and I think it's awesome. I gotta say, this is the second game. I looked at Alpha earlier. Watch, check out that video also on YouTube. Um, really high production quality, fantastic production quality. The boards, the individual player boards in this, that have a plastic piece already inserted between the boards that you can slide up and down is really nice. Now, I will admit it wasn't easy to slide, and I'm, they may get loose over time, but at least out of the box, I was extremely impressed by that. A ton of cards in here, 220 cards in here. Um, looks interesting. It looks like it's going to be a blind bidding, a blind auction type, or not auction, but like, you won't know what everyone else is doing. Everyone's going to hide, plan their turn, hide it, what they're going to buy and sell that round. You're going to reveal it, and that's going to change the market. That's That looks like that's pretty much the entire game. Um, that, again, that's just looking at the components. Component-wise, top-notch. The, the, there is nothing wrong with anything in this box. I am extremely impressed. Really looking forward to looking at these games from Bicycle. Uh, depending on when you watch this, my reviews may be live. They'd be over at tabletopbellhop.com. So one final shout out, again, tabletopbellhop.com is our main hub. You can find all of our content there. If you dig this video and you appreciate the, the work that goes into making videos like this or you'd like our reviews, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzno. Good night and game on.